Another useful visualization is the streamlines of the flow. From the Results tab, select Path Lines and click New. In the pop-up window, name this Streamlines 1. Ensure that the lines are colored by velocity and that velocity magnitude is selected. To start, select Far Field 1 under the Release from Surfaces list and click Save slash Display and close the window. We can see that this creates streamlines over the entire flow domain, but we are more interested in the flow near the cylinder. To get a better streamline resolution in the center, select Create on the left side of the Results tab and select Line slash Rake. Name this Seed Line 1. This will define a line at which fluid particles are released to determine their path. Selecting Line defines a straight line connecting the endpoints. Rake does a similar thing, but forms the line with a selectable number of distinct points. This lets us control how many particles are released along the seed line. Select the Rake option. We can now select the endpoints of the rake. After messing with it for a bit, I found that setting these endpoints to span from 3.5 to negative 3.5 on the y-axis and set at negative 8 on the x-axis works well. This creates a vertical line a little ahead of the cylinder. Finally, set the number of points to 80 to determine the number of seed points along the line. Select Create and close the window. If we expand path lines in the tree, we can edit the streamlines by right clicking on Streamlines 1 and clicking Edit. Click Farfield 1 in the Release from Surfaces list to remove it, and select Seed Line 1. Click Save slash Display to view, and close the window. We can now see that this has released 80 fluid particles from the line we created, giving us a good visualization of the incoming flow. Selecting the magnifying glass, we can zoom in as before. Interestingly, we can see that no particles reach the recirculation region behind the cylinder. To better visualize this area, we can create another surface in that region. Again, select Create and click Line slash Rake. Name this Seed Line 2. With Rake selected as before, we can now set our endpoints. I found that creating a line spanning from negative 0.4 to 0.4 on the y-axis and set at 0.5 on the x-axis creates a good visualization. This time, set the number of points to 11 and select Create you can close the window. If we now edit the streamlines as before, we can select Seed Line 2 to add it. Clicking Save slash Display and closing the window shows that the recirculation zones are now captured in the streamlines. It is a little tricky to know exactly where this region falls with respect to the cylinder. To improve this, we can add a visualization of the interior circle. From the Results tab, select Mesh and click New. Change the name to Cylinder. In the Options pane, select Faces. Under Surfaces, ensure that only Cylinder Wall is selected and click Save slash Display to view and close the window. This creates a little circle representing the cylinder. 
Back in the tree, we can now right click on Streamlines 1, hover over Add To, and select Active Window. This allows us to view both the mesh visualization and the streamlines in the same pane. Viewing this, it is unclear exactly how this deadwater region connects to the incoming flow. To see this, we want to move backwards from the second seed line, following the velocity vectors in reverse to see how it connects. To do this, create a new set of streamlines as before by selecting Path Lines in the Results tab and clicking New. We can name this Streamlines 2. In the Options pane, select Reverse. This will cause the post processor to integrate backwards from the release surface to determine the path. Ensure Velocity and Velocity Magnitude are selected. And select Seed Line 2 under the Release from Surfaces list. Finally, reduce Steps to 250. This changes how far we want to integrate so reducing it causes it to propagate the streamlines for a shorter distance. Click Save Slash Display to view, and close the window. This shows that the particles that approach the stagnation point define the outline of this recirculation region. While we can right-click all of the relevant components and add them to the current window as before, it is more convenient to combine them into a single visualization. This can be accomplished by right-clicking Scene in the tree and clicking New. Name this Streamline Scene. Under Graphics Objects, check the box for Streamline 1, Streamline 2, and Cylinder. Click Save and Display to view this in the window and you can close the pop-up. Click X next to one of the legends to remove it. This combines all of the visualizations for a complete streamlined picture. With this completed, make sure to save your project. In the pop-up, select Use Settings Changes for Current and Future Calculations to preserve everything you've done, and click OK.